Welcome back, boys and girls, to another lesson in calculus. This is Mr. Bean, and today's lesson is going to focus on limits. Now, limits can be a little confusing for some students. I have found the easiest way to understand limits is to first talk about their graphs. So these next few lessons are just going to be about their graphs, and this one's going to be in particular easy, although I usually when I say that lessons are easy, my students get mad at me and they tell me it was not easy, but I really believe this one will be. So when we think about limits, really what it is is what is it approaching? What is a function approaching? So as we have an x value that approaches a number, so in this case 2, the y value is approaching a specific number. So the examples below, we have all three of these. We're going to have the limits that as x approaches 2, f of x approaches 1. And remember, f of x is just like saying y approaches 1. So let's look at this first example. This is the notation of how you write a limit. So the limit as x approaches 2. That's what that means. Limit as x approaches 2 of the function f is equal to... Okay, so what we're doing is we're looking at this number 2. As we approach the number 2, what value does the function approach? What y value? And so the y value you can see here is the number 1. For this first example, we're also asking what is f of 2? Well, f of 2 is just what is the y value when x equals 2. So x equals 2, there's the y value, and it is also 1. So sometimes the limit is the same thing as the y value of the func function, but sometimes it's not true. So for this next example, you can see this. We're going to have the limit as x approaches 2. So again, we're just having from both sides, we're going to approach 2 from the left side and the right side, which means on the graph, we're going to be approaching this direction. So left side, right side, we're both uh, the x value is approaching 2. The y value is approaching this value of number 1. That's the y value right there. So we say that f of x is approaching 1. The limit of f of x at x, as x approaches 2 is 1. Now what about the f of 2? What is the value of that? So when x equals 2, what is the value of the function? There is no dot. So this one we can say does not exist or you can say undefined. Sorry about my handwriting here. So you could say undefined. Some students might say something like does not exist. So that's a way of doing it as well. Does not exist or undefined both would work. So there is just no, no value of the function right there since it's an open hole. Okay, next one. So here we're doing the same exact thing as x approaches 2 from both sides. Uh, the y value is approaching the same number 1, the y value is approaching 1, but this time the function itself at x equals 2, there is an actual value of the function which is up here. The value of the function is 3. So the function is defined at x equals 2 in this case, but it's not the same thing as the limit. So, okay, so that's important. The limit on this one is not the same as the value of the function. Okay, so let's practice this. If you think you already understand this, like maybe you've done this a little bit in pre-calc, this might be a good time to pause and then you can just fast forward and see if you get the right answers. But I'm going to show you step by step how to do each of these just to make sure you've got them. All right, first one, the limit as x approaches 1. What we're looking at is from both the left side and the right side of 1. We, so we're approaching 1 from both left and right side, which means on the graph it would look like this. We're approaching the x value of 1 from both sides. And... What is the y value? The y value that it is approaching is negative 1. Number 2. So we're going to look at the function. There's no limit here. See, that doesn't say have the limit symbol. So we're just looking at x equals negative 3. Where is the function? That's an open hole. The filled in dot is right there. So the y value is 0. Now we're going to do the limit as x approaches 2. So we're right here at 2. So we're looking at if you approach from both sides of 2. So let's look at the graph. We're approaching both sides of 2, left and right side of x equals 2. The y value of the graph is approaching right there. So what's the y value right there? That is a y value of 2 as well. All right, and then what is the function at 2? If we go to x equals 2, where's the dot? It's up here at 3. Uh, f of 1, so let's go to where x equals 1. Where's the dot? Right here, but there's no filled in dot, right? So there's no value of the function, so we could say something like undefined undefined or does not exist, and I'm running out of room. Uh, f of negative 2, so we go over here to where x equals negative 2. Where's the graph? The graph is right there. There's no open dot, so it's just, we're just going to assume that it goes right there to x equals 2, or excuse me, y equals 2. So that's the y value. Limit is x equals 0, so we're, here's where x equals 0. We're going to approach it from both sides. 
So as we approach from both sides, the graph is down here. Where is the graph approaching? It is a y value of negative 2. And then last one, this limit as x approaches negative 3. Where's negative 3? So here's negative 3. So we're approaching negative 3 from both sides. But remember, where's the graph? So let's go up here to the graph. And it is a, from both sides, it's approaching the same y value of that spot, which is 1. OK, so that is the gist of it. That's how you find a limit when you just have the graph. Now, we're not doing anything with one-sided limits yet. Don't worry about that. We'll do that in the next lesson. This is just where is, what's the y value approaching as an x value approaches something very specific. So to wrap this up, let's just have a, an interpretation statement. So how can we interpret this? If we have this here, this limit as x approaches 7 of f of x is equal to 10, what does that mean? Well, if we were to interpret it, it would say, as x approaches 7, f of x approaches 10. Okay, that's how you interpret that. So we'll have a couple of those. Now, it's important to understand a limit does not tell us the value of f of x. It just tells us what the f of x is approaching, Okay, not what the f of x actually equals. So true or false, f of 1 is equivalent to the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x in all cases. Okay, so is that true? No, that's false. An example would be like if we're coming here, there's an open circle, and then it keeps going. And then so right there as we get to the limit, the y value is something else. Okay, and then this one, f of 1 does not equal the limit in all cases. No, here's an example. Like if you're just going through here and we have, a, we have this filled in dot, well, look, f of 1 could equal the limit, that's a possibility, that the, the, it could be true. So in other words, this one's also false. This one could be true, but is not always true. And that, that this would be an example when it's true down here. All right, that is it for our lesson. So this is Mr. Bean signing off. Good luck on the practice and rock that mastery check. See you back in the next lesson.